welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so students today we are going to solve a question where we have to find the greater one between the two entities given so here we have 222 raised to 333 or 333 and raised to 222 we have to decide which one is greater amongst them okay so now please understand what we can do over here is nothing but see this 222 can be written as what 101 111 into to the whole raised to 333 or uh, let's write this as it is and this also can be written as 111 into 3 let's write this also as it is Okay, now I can write this as nothing but one 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 raised to three 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 into two raised to three three three. Similarly, here also I can write one 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 into three. This is raised to two two two, and this is also raised to two two two. Okay, so now here I can write this as nothing but um, one one one. Raised to two 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 into one 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 raised to one one one. Why? Because three 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 is nothing but two 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 plus one one one. Correct? Right? <clears throat> And in indices, when you have something like this, it can be written as a raised to two 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 into a raised to one one one. Okay. So using that logic, I'm going to write it this way. Why? Because here also we have eleven one 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 raised to two two two, and this can be written as what two raised to three the whole raised to one one one. Correct? Because a raised to three 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 is nothing but a raised to three into one one one, and I can still write this as nothing but a raised to three the whole raised to one one one. Okay. students before going ahead i would like to remind all of you all if you like the way i am explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos okay so here we have 11 raised to 2 2 2 into 3 raised to 2 the whole raised to 1 1 1 sorry the same thing which i did over here i have applied over here Okay, so now I have eleven one hundred and eleven raised to two 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 into one hundred and eleven in raised to one 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 into eight the whole raised to one one one, and this is nothing but eleven hundred and one hundred and eleven raised to two 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 into nine raised to one one one. Correct. <coughs> now we know that a raised to m into b raised to m can be written as a into b the whole raised to m. Right, so using that logic, I can write this as it is, and this can be multiplied because both of them have the same index over here as shown. So you have eight, 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 the whole raised to one, 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 and this is one, one, one raised to two, two, two into nine raised to hundred and eleven. So now out of these two, we know obviously this one is greater. We just need to com, we don't need to compare this because these two are same. And these two have the same power, so we can compare the bases. And out of these two, we know that eight hundred and eighty-eight is greater. So I can say that this particular value is greater than three hundred and thirty-three raised to two hundred and twenty-two. Okay, so that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.